friends, my name is Tiffany. I'm a fat yoga teacher trying to make yoga more accessible to everybody. So, just as a reminder, I am an affiliate. I have links down below. I'm wearing the Topanga bra and the Black Lux leggings, and I am obsessed. All right. And don't forget to subscribe. Um, hit that notification bell and subscribe because you don't want to miss a thing. I am on day 30. Today is day 30 of the 90 day yoga challenge. Today is the day, the rock and Halloween yoga class. And so I'm hoping that you've signed up and you're excited and you're going to be, you know, joining us in the celebrations of the Halloween boobash. Let's <laughs> go check it out if you have it already. And then also I have a teespring with design it's like these. Thank you so much to anybody who's ever purchased a shirt. I do get um, a percentage of the sales and it definitely helps me out. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And let's get started. Let's grab a chair. All right, let's begin in a chair. So here in our chair, feet are flat onto the earth, hands come to the knees, shoulders down and back. And I can already tell like my feet want to do this. And so I'm gonna grab my blocks, which are right behind me and fix that problem so I can feel a little bit more secure in my seated postures. So let's go ahead and bring feet onto the blocks. That way I can sit back in the chair a little bit more and feel a little bit more secure. So this is optional. If you don't have blocks, you don't have to do this. Just make sure your feet are flat onto the earth. Hands come to my knees or my legs. Sitting back into my chair. Take a deep inhale here. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Deep inhale, open mouth, exhale, let it go. Close your eyes or have a soft gaze. Deep inhale here, open mouth, exhale. Last time on your own. Think about shoulders away from ears and just kind of finding a good spot in your spine. Begin to seal your lips and inhale through the nose and exhale through the nose. Finding that ujjayi breath. This is that breath of life that feels so good. As we inhale, we count to four and exhale, find that same count. So inhale for four, exhale for four. Once we find that breath that feels so good, come back to center and take that right ear to the right shoulder and find a nice neck stretch. We can reach that left hand off to the side or we can keep our hand in our lap. Take a deep inhale and come back to center. Exhale, left ear to left shoulder, right hand reaches down to the right. Take a deep inhale and exhale. On that next inhale, coming back to center, we lift our chest slightly, both arms come, reach towards the sky, maybe we open our eyes and look up to the sky, find a little arch. Exhale, we twist to the right, both hands come down, right hand to the right hip, left hand to left leg or to the right leg. Take a deep inhale, we lift and exhale, we twist. We look over that right shoulder to feel that nice neck stretch here. Take a deep inhale, lift up the chest, exhale, we twist. Come back to center, inhale, both arms lift and rise. Exhale, we twist to the left, both hands come down. Left hand to left hip, right hand to right hip, right leg or left leg. Take a deep inhale, we lift and exhale, we twist. Look over that left shoulder, inhale, we lift and exhale, we twist. Come back to center. Inhale, both arms come up. Take your feet a little bit wider. <laughs> And then both arms come down, reach towards the sky, reach towards the ground. I like that my, my, hand, my feet are on blocks here. It makes me feel like I'm getting better hip stretch. If your feet are down onto the ground, that's fine too. <sighs> Work with what you've got, it's totally fine. On that next inhale, we rise all the way back up, circle the arms up to the sky. We look to our hands, and then the right hand comes down, left hand comes reaching over to the right, thinking about that left hip sinking down. Take a deep 
Inhale, come back to center. Both arms reach. Find a little arch. We look up. Exhale, left arm down. Right arm comes up and over. And then on that next inhale, we come back to center. Let's circle the arms again. Inhale, press our palms together. And exhale, we fold. Inhale, we rise. Find our half lift. Exhale, we fold. Inhale, circle the arms all the way up. Press our palms together and exhale, come back to center. Okay, friends, let's find figure four. <laughs> let's find figure four seated, so a version of pigeon. You have your blocks. Remember what we discussed yesterday as far as bringing a block to the center. And we can use this for our figure four. So if you can cross your legs, by bringing your ankle on top of your knee, then that's awesome. You can use the block then to just kind of plant this base foot onto the block to give you more of a stretch here. Or you can use the block differently by placing both feet onto the floor. And this block will then be used in a way, let me just scooch back my chair a little bit. If you can see better, there we go. And then, we take the side of the foot and we lean it into the block. And this is nice, it stretches the ankle a little bit, flex your foot here so it protects the knee, and then it opens up the hip a little bit. Take a deep breath here. If this feels good, stay here. Otherwise, we can go up to the tallest or the second setting, just depending. I'm going to the tallest just for time, sake of time. So you can have this second option of planting your foot onto the block. Here, this is where you might be instead of crossing your legs. Both are good options. On that next exhale, we plant that right foot down and let's plant the block back down and work on our left hip. So we find the inside of that left foot. We feel that stretch in our ankle. We flex the left foot so we protect our knee and we lift up our chest and we feel this nice little gentle stretch here onto our hip. This right leg is firmly planted onto the earth. Take a deep inhale and exhale. Go ahead and release or stay here if that's feeling good. You can always adjust your block to the higher setting and then bring your foot to that next setting on the block. If you don't have a block whatsoever, you can always just cross at the ankles or just bring your foot to the floor and open the hip that way. If you have something else, like a little stool or something else that you can use, a couple of books, a children's toy, whatever you have that's stable, can be firm, firmly planted onto the ground, then feel free to use that. And keep in mind, like yoga blocks are pretty cheap if you go for foam blocks. Foam blocks, you could get two for like 10 bucks on Amazon. So. If you're thinking that it's out of your budget, maybe $10 is out of your budget, you can always use the things that are in your home as well. On that next exhale, we go ahead and release, come back to center, and we'll stay there for this version of pigeon. If you cross your legs, that's fine too. We will also find that version in the next sequencing. So here we find some goddess. So we take our legs a little bit wider. Inhale, we circle the arms all the way up. Exhale, we press our hands together and come all the way down to a forward fold. Inhale, we rise, find our half lift, and exhale, we fold. Inhale, circle the arms all the way back up. Bring our hands up to the sky, engage your core, and begin to lean forward and find your goddess. Exhale, we come back to center, shoulders away from ears. Inhale, we lean forward, find our goddess. Come back to center, and then we press into the feet. Maybe we lift a little bit and come back to center. My butt is not even leaving the chair, and I'm feeling a ton of engagement in my legs. So really press into the feet as we lean forward. Come back to center. Okay, friends, let's find this goddess. Hands out to the sides, palms face up. Option to have palms face down, palms face up. You can kind of rotate back and forth. So as we lean forward, palms face up, lean back, palms face down. Lean forward, palms face up, lean back, palms face down. You're also working your arms here. Engage your core as we do this. Exhale. Should feel really good. Press forward. Exhale. And then come.
come back to set hands to our hips and lean forward and take a couple of times this way as well. Then we come back to center, bringing both legs back in. We circle the arms one more time, press into the palms. Exhale, we fold. Inhale, rise, find that half lift. Exhale, we fold. Inhale, circle the arms all the way back up. Press the palms together and exhale, we come back to center. Let's find standing with the chair. So this version of standing with the chair, we will start off with pigeon. So this is a different version of pigeon. This is maybe for somebody who has zero accessibility and wants to try it standing. Maybe you have issues sitting for long periods of time. It's too deep on the hips or maybe even getting on your back is difficult. So we begin by just like bringing our knee to our chair and try to cross the ankle over the knee. So it begins here. And then begin to lean forward. This works best with a chair that has a back. Bring both hands to the back of the chair and slowly begin to bend the knee, finding this version of the chair. We can bring our forearms to the back of the chair. Make sure you're feeling very supported here. You should feel a nice stretch on the outer hip right here and the outer hip right here. <laughs> your hips should feel the stretch. If you aren't feeling it, try to bend your knee a little bit more. And if your knee isn't able to bend, you can always just try to Straighten the leg and stick your booty out a little bit more. You can also adjust the little leg on the chair, try and crossing it over a little bit more. So the thing about any type of pigeon move is that it only works when you are tapped into the body. So really feel into your body and see what you need here. Take some deep breaths, feel into your pigeon. I'm just now beginning to feel it adjusting my stance here <sighs> take some deep breaths that outer right hip and left hip is feeling it and i'm going to come up bring my hands down adjust so that my legs come back to the ground come back to center let's find it here again on the other side so crossing this left leg onto the chair my right knee lines up with my ankle and I step my, my right leg back a little bit and bend my knee. So this is how I'm accessing it. And then I lean into that left leg and my forearms are coming to the chair. And this, I'm feeling a deep stretch and I can lean forward and feel the stretch even more. And listen to your body here because wherever you're at is good. You can also extend this right leg back more and try to feel it a little bit differently. If your belly's in the way, you can move your belly a little bit. I'm just noticing I needed to do that, so that's why I'm saying that. And I can even kind of wiggle my toe a little bit more to feel the stretch. Take a deep inhale and exhale. Let yourself just sink here. And then on that next exhale, bring both hands to the chair. We step that right foot forward, lift up the chest, let that left leg come down. Let's just find a gentle forward fold. Maybe hands just come to the chair. We stick our booty back, booty back, relax our neck. Maybe bend our knees just enough to where they're not locking out. And then slowly roll all the way back up. Let's find our goddess. Adjust your chair if you need to. And I can't stress this enough when you're using a chair, making sure all four legs of the chair are on the mat because you do need that traction. So inhale, we circle, press palms together, and exhale, we fold. Bring your hands to the chair, inhale, we rise. We lean forward, step our feet to the back. Find our plank, engage our core. Lower down and push back up. Find our upward facing dog, hips come forward, and then our downward facing dog. So arms are extended, shoulders away from ears. We're sticking out our booty butt, finding that L shape. On that next exhale, we set our right foot forward, and then we take our left foot so that the heel is coming in. And we find this modified warrior two version in the heels. 
Take this right foot and adjust to find our goddess. So make sure you're feeling really strong into the goddess. So all four corners of the feet are firmly pressed into the mat. And then we bend the knees and we can bring our hands to our hips and extend our legs. If you're feeling strong, arms come up and extend. And we do this three more times, whatever version of arms you'd like. Two more times, squat down a little bit more here. One more time, we hold it. Engage your core. On that next exhale, we rise back up, hands come down. All right, let's find palms face down. We squat, palms face up, arms extended, palms face down, palms face up. Engage your core here, palms face down, palms face up. Switch sides, left hand to the hip, right hand extends, palms face down, palms face up, palms face down, and palms face up. We got this for three, and for two, and for one. Awesome job. And then we turn towards the chair, and press into the chair, the right leg comes back, press down, find your chaturanga, your upward facing dog, and your downward facing dog. Relax your neck, step your left foot into the mat, right foot follows, find your halfway lift, exhale we fold. Inhale we rise, circle arms all the way to the top, Press our palms together and exhale, we come back to center. Take a deep breath here. All right, let's find it with some blocks. Goddess and pigeon with blocks. All right, let's come to some blocks. Inhale, we circle, press our palms together and exhale, we fold. Inhale, we rise, find our half lift. Exhale, we plant our hands to the blocks and step our feet to the back to find our plank. Lower down to the knees if you need to and bend your elbows to find chaturanga and push back up. Allow your hips to come forward for your upward facing dog. Tuck your toes, lean your hips back and lift your hips for downward facing dog. This is optional, you can always keep knees on the ground. On that next exhale, we take that left foot to the middle, right foot comes up, bend your knee, and then cross it over to find that version of pigeon. Tuck your back toe and flex your right foot. We inhale and look up, and exhale, maybe we come down to our forearms. Adjust wherever you need to to let this pigeon Feel nice and open. We've already done it a few times. On that next exhale, we push into the blocks, tuck our back toe, and then we can just lift up our back foot and find this extended version, and then push into the hands as we lift up our hips, and bring our right foot back. Find our down dog. Take the right foot to the middle, left foot comes up. Bend your knee and cross over. Set your back knee down and find this version of pigeon pose. To untuck this back toe. Take a deep inhale, we look up. Exhale, we fold. Finding this nice pigeon. Feeling good, allowing that hip to open up. You can always keep hands on the blocks like this. Wherever you're at is good. When you're ready, go ahead and tuck that back toe and maybe just kind of walk that knee forward just a little bit. Walk it forward and then swing it so that it's in line. Tuck the back toe and lift your hips and come back to your downward facing dog. Take that left foot to the middle of the mat, right foot comes up. We step it through. Actually, it's the left foot for me just because of the way the camera is. Take that right heel down and open it up to the side to find our goddess. 
So bring our heels in, toes out. Engage your core and slowly lower down, finding that goddess. We straighten our legs, hands to our hips. Engage our core, straighten. Arms can raise up if you feel strong here and straighten. Palms facing each other, fingers are straight and like beaming of energy out of them. And then we hold it down and we can find some pulses for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Straighten your legs. This version we extend our arms out to the side. We find our squat, palms face up. Extend and then put them, palms face down. Face up as we lower, face down as we extend. Lower, extend. Awesome job. Bring your hands to your hips. Both toes come in, heels out. Inhale, we circle our arms all the way up. And exhale, we fold all the way back down. Find a nice forward fold here. Maybe we bend our knees. On that next exhale, we walk our hands to the front of the mat. Step our left foot to the back. Find our downward facing dog. And then begin to walk our feet into our hands. Find your halfway lift. Exhale, we fold. Inhale, we rise, circle arms all the way up to the top. Press our palms together and exhale, we come back to center. And that's it for today, friends. I will see you tomorrow. Bye.